everybody! If you don't know, I'm Sandy Sandler. I'm the creator of the Bodabra and I want to thank you all very much for tuning in and spending, I think, holiday. I don't know what day everybody takes off for the weekend, but if you're spending your time with me, I really appreciate it. I'm going to start right now taking my mini Bodabra, my mini Bodabra hair bow tool and roller. I'm just going to set this on here. I'm going to make a really easy is super easy chair belt. So, and everything else today is going to be home decor, but I thought it would be fun to start with a chair belt. So I have my Bodabra bow wire. I'm gonna fold it in half, just lay it down into my Bodabra. And if you're not familiar with the Bodabra, oops, let me, I, I, there's springs underneath. So it acts like a third hand. So I'm gonna start with, um, with a piece that I've already dovetailed. If you don't know how to dovetail, I fold it in half and then just cut towards the center. Whoops, and probably do it separate. So here you go. So that's how you get that cute little dovetailed end. So what I'm gonna do is I have two different ribbons here. So I'm gonna fold them in half and find the center and scrunch that down into my mini bodabra. And that's gonna be the tails for my chair bow. Then I'm gonna take, I have two more exact same ribbons and I'm gonna put the wrong side, I mean the right side down. And so we're just gonna scrunch this in here. I'm gonna fold it back over, bring this back here. And again, I'm taking the wrong side, putting it downwards and scrunch that down into my Bodabra. Then I'm gonna measure, so I have three inches on each side. I'm gonna do what we call our little mountain up. So there's a little crease in the middle and scrunch that down. Now what this does is makes it so you don't have to sew your chair bows. I'm gonna scrunch everything down with my Bodabra wand. And now the reason I folded my wire in half is because now I have a slip knot. So I'm just gonna pull my wire through. And as you can see, the Bodabra is holding my bow. So if you have arthritis or problems with your hands, the Bodabra acts like a third hand. So now I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna separate my ends, bring it around to the back. I'm gonna tie a knot and double knot it. And now I'm gonna pull the hair bow, my hair bow, my ponytail holder, and I'm gonna knot that on and tie another knot. Terry says hello and loves it. Thank you. Did you say Carrie or Terry? Terry. Hi, Terry. I hope you're doing great. And now I'm going to take my, now just so you guys know, our Bodabra ribbons are on sale for 50% off this week. So I'm sure that we'll get a link up there for you. I'm going to take a glue, um, actually one of my Zots, which is a glue adhesive. And I'm just going to put this here. And this is our rhinestone mesh that comes off of this roll here that we do sell in the store. Um, and we just clipped a row here. And so now you have a really cute chair bow. Gail says love. Thank you, Gail. And so super, super simple. That's what I love about Bodabra is everything is super, super easy. So now it it is 4th of July on Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. On Wednesday. So I'm going to do a really quick, easy, last minute 4th of July centerpiece. Crystal says that looks so cute. Thank you, Crystal. And how easy is that? So now I'm just going to clean up my mess here and pull out my 4th of July stock. Let's just get all this here and bring this. And I'm going to make even more of a mess because I've got ribbon here that is super glittery. But when you see how amazingly simple this is to make a really fun, lively, last minute centerpiece. Now, if you're watching a replay and it's not 4th of July, you can make this exact same centerpiece for any time of the year. Just change out the colors of the ribbon. Or you can be patriotic any time of the year too. So I'm gonna take a longer piece of Bodabra bow wire because um, this is gonna be a really big bow. So I'm gonna cut it and I've already folded it in half. 
I'm gonna lay it down into my bodabra and tuck everything underneath so it stays out of my way. And just in case you're not familiar with the bodabra, underneath here are springs. So this is gonna automatically adjust and act like a third hand. So now um, I've got my um, ribbon. This is my tail. I'm gonna just fold it in half here and just go to the center and just scrunch everything into my bodabra. And put this out of the way. I've got a lot of stuff here. Then I'm gonna take another piece of the same ribbon and I'm just going to take, see the wrong side, twist it, and now the wrong side is on the inside of my loop. And we're gonna do the same thing again, bring it back, and we're gonna twist, and then bring it back here, and I'm just gonna scrunch that down into my bodabra. And as you can see, everything is just staying in my bodabra, super simple. So now I'm gonna take another tail and put this down here. Then before I start my next bow, I'm gonna actually put in my really pretty um, pick here and I'll shape this out afterwards. Jeannie but... says hi Sandy and she shared. Oh, thank you, is that Jeannie you said? Yes. Thank you Jeannie. Um, happy 4th of July and I guess say happy birthday America. So now we're going to put another one in here. So do you guys have special plans for the 4th of July? We're going to twist and I'm going to fold it back, make kind of big loops Darlena here. says, hi, Sandy. Hi, Darlena. How are you? And happy 4th of July, everybody. I love America's birthday. We have such an amazing country. We're so lucky. And fold this back. And I'm going to try to find my wand and scrunch everything down in here and make sure this stays tucked underneath there. Darlena says happy fourth, Sandy. Thank you, Darlena. So do you guys have special plans for the fourth? Jeannie says nothing yet. And well, you still have two days to plan it out. Do you guys have big fireworks displays near you? So now these are just tails. So here we're going to do some more loops. So I'm just going to twist it and fold it back and whoops, twist and make these loops a little bit smaller here. And now you can see how super simple. This is a great last minute 4th of July centerpiece or like I said, any party. I'm just going to turn this this way. And now I'm gonna grab my Bodabra bow wire, I think. And I'm going to bring this through my slip knot. Terry says, love America. And Darlena says, going with family to watch fireworks. Oh, how awesome. Gail says, it's too hot on the East Coast. Oh, Gail, I've been reading about that. But ha it's pretty hot here, but we don't have the humidity in Nevada like you guys have on the East Coast. Crystal so. says, isn't it fun how quickly the bows take? Yes, Crystal, you're so right. So now I'm just going to bring this over, come around to the back. That's what I love about Bodabra is I can sit here and do all of these amazing home decor projects with you guys so quick. It's like amazing how super simple. So now I'm just going to clip this. Or if you wanted to hang it, you could leave that there. And... Oopsie daisy. Okay, so now I'm going to turn my lights on so we can get very festive here. And let's bring this underneath all of what am I doing here? Making the bow is easy. Figuring out what to do with all the stuff is a whole nother story. There we go. So now I'm just going to shape out my loops, bring these down here, and here we're going to just sort of bend and shape my lights so they stick out and make these loops. And how fun and super, super simple is this? Karen so, says so beautiful. And thank I believe you. it was Lauren from Hawaii says hi. Hi, Lauren from Hawaii. Where in Hawaii are you from? 
So here we go. Now, isn't that a super like how quick, less than five minutes to make this gorgeous centerpiece? And so simple and people will think you've spent like a hundred dollars on it. So super easy. Lorna says bought mine three weeks ago. Love it. Oh, thank you, Lorna. I'm so glad you love it. I don't know if you already gave us a review, but if you didn't, please go ahead and review. And also you guys, please don't forget to go to your app store and download the Bodabra app because um, we have it for tablets and smartphones. Darlena loves it and Lorna says uh, Kauai. Oh, okay. I love Kauai. It's so pretty. Been there a couple times and it's awesome. So I'm going to put this aside and now I'm going to do a little bit of a smaller project. I have had a request for curtain. I think it was Maria. Oh my God, you guys, forgive me. I'm not remembering. Someone requested for me to make a curtain tie back. So I went to my trusty designer, Michael, and we're gonna get started on our curtain tie back. So we're gonna pretend this is our curtain, even though it's a towel. Karen says, could have a red, white, and blue bicycle. Oh my gosh, how fun. <laughs> so, now, so what I'm gonna do is take my bow dabber bow wire, whoops, and fold it in half. And this is gonna be super simple. And what I love about this project, you know, just tuck everything under my bow dabber. What I love about this project is that it's so easy, you can change your, um, your tie back with the season. So I'm just gonna take this piece that I've cut long enough to tie around my towel, but you're around your curtain. And Andrea just, says, hi, Sandy. Hi, Andrea. Now, where are you from? Let's go here, and now I'm going to take this really pretty peony. It's a peony, right, Michael? Yes. And so this is why for spring, summer, the flower that you pick is what will add the season to your to your um, curtain tie back. So um, I'm going to just put these in here, and we dovetailed our ends. Andreas from Ohio. Oh, how's it in Ohio now, Andreas? Are you guys dealing with the heat that everybody else is? Oh, I heard that there was a terror plot for 4th of July in Cleveland, but that they thwart, the FBI thwarted it. So it won't happen, thank goodness. So, now fold all this in here. And take this and put that here. And as you can see, I'm just kind of shaping as I do it because I think it's easier sometimes to shape it as you're putting it into the bow dabra. So you can see my really pretty curtain tie back coming together. Ida says hello and I'm Oh hi says, Ida. Uh, bought my bow dabra at the at a store. Oh okay. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard because these comments go through so quickly. So now I'm just taking some tool and I'm just laying my tool in like we do a scrunchie bow. Darlena's also from Ohio and she says it's very hot in the high 90s. Yeah, but you guys have humidity, which probably makes it even worse. And I'm just going to clip this. I think I have enough in there. Whoopsie daisy. And in here, scrunch everything in. And now I'm going to take my wand and just give everything a good push. And I had to scrunch that down there. And now I have. Lorna asked, are those wire ribbons? They are, this isn't, this is a tool, but these are wired ribbons. And I find what I like about the wired ribbon versus a non-wired is it's easier to shape. Um, so it just depends on the look that you're, that you're going for. Um, because you really can use either. I just like to be able to shape my ribbon. Um, and I can do that easier with a wired ribbon. So I'm just gonna turn this to the side. And, but I like the puffy that you get using tool. So I'm gonna just pull this through, pull it really, whoops, pull it tight while it's still in the modabra, pull it out, separate the ends, and bring it around to the back. And I'm just going to tie a knot and tie it again. That's what I love about our bow dabra bow wire versus like a um, regular floral wire is you can cut with scissors, you can tie a knot. And so now what I'm gonna do is take my trusty curtain 
And I'm just going to take this tie back, tie it on here, and just, whoops. Even though it's the back, I like it to look pretty. So I'm gonna tie my knot so that the right side ends up being here. Now I'm gonna turn it around and shape it towards you guys so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take my peony out here and like what a simple, like super simple home decor project that you can really change out with the seasons and kind of put everything around there. And there you go. So what do you guys think for our pretty, whoops, curtain tie box? And there you go. So how super, super simple to make. And so now what I'm gonna do is I have another project that I'm gonna get started on in a second that's going to be something that will match with this decor and go for in like your bathroom for your bathroom decor. Crystal says such a great way to welcome our guests. Thank you, Crystal. That's absolutely true. So now I'm gonna put this aside. Oops. And I'm gonna take out another towel. And this is meant to be a towel, not a curtain tie back. So I'm just gonna take these. And just so you guys know, we do have a sale on a ribbon in the store. So I'm gonna start by taking um, the towel that I've just, you know, just rolled it up and I'm going to make it kind of like a gift. So I'm going to take a, one of my Zots and put this here. And I like the Zots because I've had the most luck with them actually sticking versus other types of adhesive dots. So that's why I'm using because if anybody of you guys have been with me from the beginning, you would know that I have had quite my battle with the glue adhesives. So now I'm gonna take my bow dabber bow wire and I'm gonna cut a piece and I'm going to fold my bow dabber bow wire in half and lay this down here. And just again, I'm just tucking it underneath so it stays out of the way. And so now I am going to just take my florals and lay those down into my Bodabra. And then I have, um, I thought these two ribbons would match really pretty together. This is our um, Bodabra rhinestone ribbon, which we do have in our store. And what I love about it is it really makes a pretty bow. So I can put it over the the designer ribbon, fold it back, and now all I'm gonna do is bring this back around here and kind of make this like we do our hair bows and find the center and I'm just gonna do my mountain up because this mesh is extremely pliable and then I'm going to just put this in the center here my bow dabber bow wire and I mean my wand and scrunch everything down in here and bring this through my slip knot and that's why I always fold my wire in half pull it tight while it's still in the bow dabra pull it out I am going to now just separate my ends bring it around to the back tie a knot and tie another knot and I um, just clip that tight there and bring my loops around and I bring this here and I can just put that through. And isn't that just a really super simple way to, to decorate your bathroom for your guests or for yourself, of course. So. I hope you like this project. And oh, next week, I think we're back on wedding, aren't we, Michael? Yes. We're gonna do some really fun wedding. And we're gonna do also, a, I think maybe it's Christmas, Christmas in July. Week. I'm wrong, oh my gosh. So next week is gonna be Christmas in July. We're gonna make a wreath in just one more second. So, but we're gonna do Christmas in July next week. And then the week after, we're gonna do planning for your Christmas wedding. 
So it's gonna be really fun. So I'm gonna put this aside. Jeannie loves it, Darlena says so pretty, and Christelle says bling bling. Oh, you guys, thank you. I you know it is bling bling, isn't it, Crystal? So now this is gonna be, we're gonna make a wreath, and it's gonna be a huge bow. So I'm gonna fold this in half, and I'm gonna take a bigger piece of Bodabra bow wire and tuck everything under here. And I'm going to give myself a little extra room. Brenda says hello. I'm sorry, who said hello? Brenda. Hi, Brenda, how are you? Um, and so now I'm having to dig down here because we have so much stuff. So we pre-cut these tails. This is like an eight inch wide ribbon. And I'm just going to scrunch this down in here. And then I'm gonna take another ribbon and scrunch this down. And I believe this ribbon we have in our Bodabra store on sale for 50% off for 4th of July. So now scrunch down in here and take another piece and uh, scrunch this. So as you can see, we're building what is going to be, I promise, a gorgeous bow for our wreath. But not only is it gorgeous, but it's super simple. So again, I've just pre-cut these ribbons and I'm just going to scrunch them down into my bodabra. So super easy. And then now I'm going to make loops and we're just going to twist them. And this is like, I don't know, what is this? A four inch wide ribbon, Michael, I think? Yes. So we're just going to make big loops. And this is one of our, our bodabra ribbons. We're gonna fold it back and whoops, bring it back here. So I would love if you guys have any requests for anything that you want us to make. The ribbon, the curtain tie back was actually a request from one of our viewers. And I love on the lives to try to do things that you guys would like me to do so I can be, it can be fun and helpful. So we're going to fold back. And so did you, I have a question. Did you all take, like, was this today a holiday or is Wednesday the only holiday or are you taking off a long weekend next weekend? So let's scrunch all this down here. And do you, do you guys have pets that are bothered by the, um, by, the fireworks, I know Vivia's, she doesn't like the fireworks. So now we've just cut the ends because we want these to be straight. And this is our angel glitter mesh bodabra ribbon. And I'm just going to scrunch this in. Now, if you guys can't, if anybody who's a regular knows that when the bodabra starts filling up with more than the bodabra can handle, means Michael designed the bow. <laughs> Because Michael likes to put a bodabra to the test. The how much can we actually put in it? So again, I'm just scrunching all this in and I, I'm gonna try to find my wand. I'll just push down here. Under all this ribbon, the wand kind of can get lost. So, and then I'm gonna take another piece here and another piece there. And I think that's enough. And, um, then what I'm going to do is make another loop. Darlena says that she won't take her dogs out when fireworks are going. Yeah, no. I mean, Vivi freaks out. She does not like it. But I have to tell you guys a really fun Vivi story. Now, I don't know how many of you know that Vivi is actually a service dog. So this morning, um, without knowing it, I shut my bedroom door so Vivi couldn't get in. And... So then all of a sudden, I'm hearing my window bang. So Vivi is jumping on my window and it's hot in Vegas. And I'm all of a sudden feeling really guilty because I think maybe her doggy door isn't opening right. So I immediately let her inside and then went and checked. Well, no, the doggy door was fine. Vivi was just concerned because she couldn't get to me. So smart as she is, she walked outside to the dog, through the dog door, to my bedroom window, and started jumping on my bedroom window. Is that cool or what? 
So I do tend to brag about Vivi a lot, but I get to. <laughs> so now this is another one of our bow dagger ribbons. And we're gonna make, this is the wrong side of it. So we're just gonna put this here. We're gonna fold and twist. So as you see, we've got like a whole bunch of different styles of bows in here. So, but I want the wreath to be really full and beautiful. And again, you can do this for any time of year. And what we've done for the wreath is we've picked some really pretty spring and summer florals to give it that, you know, summer decor. Gail look. says, Vivi is so smart and Crystal says, love service dogs always. Yeah, Vivi is smart. I just, I couldn't believe that she actually let herself outside to come inside and um, find me and make sure I, to bang on the door and let me let her in so she could make sure I was okay. I just made me feel so loved and proud. So I'm gonna put these in here and my pretty peony here. And let's see if I have any more flowers to throw in here. One more stem. And I am going to now find my Bodabra wand. And so you guys can see how much the Bodabra actually will hold. It's pretty amazing. So now I'm going to find my wire. And this is why I made my wire extra long. I'm going to pull it through my slip knot. I'm going to definitely hold this bow down as I pull it really tight while it's still in the Bodabra. And I'm going to separate the ends. I think if I bring it, <laughs> there we go. And I'm going to bring it around the back. And I'm going to tie a knot here. And again, that's what's great about the Bodabra bow wires. It's so strong. So now, whoops, I'm going to grab my wreath and let me just put this aside here. So I've already wrapped the wreath in like a gold mesh and I put the um, flower, the stems around here because it hold, they twist around to hold the mesh in place. Then I have a couple of other flowers that we're just gonna put through here and bring this through here and back to face up, bring that around. So I'm just basically wrapping my florals around here and put that one up there. And might, to be safe or to just make it a little easier, probably would do, use a glue gun, but I'm gonna use my glue dots here to put every, push, make everything stay a little bit better. So take the glue dot here. But as you can see how simple a wreath is this, then I'm gonna take my bow and let's just kind of shape it and bring this around here. So I kind of want it. Let's see what we've got here. And I wanna make sure that all of my beautiful colors that we have in the bow all stand out. And again, this is where having wired ribbon is I like better because I can really shape it um, so everything goes the way I want it. And that there. And then I made it, I cut an extra long piece somewhere of, oh, here it is, of Bodabra bow wire so I can wrap <clears throat> my bow around my wreath. And you have a stunning <clears throat> wreath for summer or winter or any time of year, really. Oh, whoops. Put that behind her. So how, how am I doing, Michael? Because I can't see it from that angle. That's good. Okay. So anyway, I would love to hear from you guys. Oh, also, don't forget to go to your app store and download the free Bodabra app. It's got lots of videos, all kinds of projects. So I will look forward to seeing you next week for our Facebook Live. Well, can you believe we made all of this in less than a half an hour? I mean, talk about super, super simple. 
So I want to wish you guys all a very happy 4th of July and we'll see you next Monday at, <clears throat> excuse me, the same time, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, and we will be doing Christmas in July. It's going to be really fun. So see you next week.